Hey everyone, how are you? It's Robert and Eat you. <laughs> He's forcing me to do an update video even though I don't feel like I look good enough for it. I'm not ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille, so I'm here anyway. <laughs> This is our update video uh, let you know what things are going on out here out and around contentment what's been going on Robert tell the people oh because my life is so fascinating and interesting they can't wait to hear <laughs> so um, this year I'm doing seventh grade social studies uh, pretty fun good seventh grade if you know anything about middle school and seventh grade it's like the middle child, wicked stepchild of, you know, the middle school. It's that weird in-between grade where things are growing and flowing and stuff like that. So it's been fun. I just got back from a History Day conference where I found out I have to make a History Day project using five billion primary sources. So I just got back from that yesterday and... I'm just going to use the thing that they gave us. We had a little box of goodies sitting in front of us with all kinds of stuff. S glue sticks, um, scissors, whatnot. And they said, open that up. You've got a thing there. So I opened it up and mine was Harlem Re Renaissance. So I'm going to stick with that. Except that's way too broad of a subject, so I have to narrow it down. And so I originally was thinking Bessie Smith, because she's pretty fascinating. But Langston Hughes. Yeah, those guys, but I wanted to do a female, and I wanted to do a musician, but when I started trying to find primary sources, I wasn't really quite able to do so, so I'm still kind of in flux on who Billie Holiday would be in that, wouldn't she? Oh, no. Maybe, yes. 1920s? Yes, 20s and 30s. Yeah. Well, there's so. probably a lot of sources on her. True. And so, with the History Day, there are five different projects you can do. You can do a documentary. It's 10 minutes long. You can do, like, an, a, a performance, a reenactment, where you pretend to be the person or, or event or whatever your topic's about. Then you can do a paper. Then you can do a display board. And then the fifth one is a website. That one is definitely a no-go, because I'm not going to try to mess with that. So, what's the easiest, you think? Well... Probably the paper would be the easiest, um, but I don't really feel like having to write that much. Actually, what they said is the poster board, it's a... You know, Tri-fold. Yeah, it's, it's deceptively... I did come away with a new <clears throat> printer <clears throat> for from it. I actually didn't... Gave away a printer. They did. They gave away three printers. They gave away college credits. I mean, all kinds of different things. Gave away college well, credits. What does that mean? I'm not really sure how it worked. They wanted to know if anybody was interested in pursuing a master's degree. And there was something... I, I totally zoned out on that because I'm not doing that. And there was something about, you know, do you want master's level credit? Maybe they might give you oh, free credit. Course. I don't know. Something. For the course. Yeah, that was okay. weird. But anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm kind of here to help with the timber operation. Um, and I will say, don't ever do it. Never, ever, ever do the timber stuff. Ever, 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 ever. <laughs> it's time consuming, it's expensive, and it's certainly not worth it now. I mean, we not started. Not for what we got, no. I mean, we started the project last year when, Tim, you know, a two by four was, you know, $570 million for one two by four. Um, the prices have come down, but some. Some. Well, there are some things that we need to mill ourselves. There are some housing components that are just too big um, and would be way too expensive to purchase if we bought them from a local sawmill. Um, okay. So, I mean, there are some big beams that we need uh, for the house, <clears throat> stuff like that. That yeah. it's just it's more in that case it's more cost effective and uh, the quality of the quality of the timber is just not that great but even if we don't you know get get the best timber and we wind up having to buy some anyway 
we got six years worth of firewood. Well, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Like, the positive thing is because so much of the stuff had too many checks, you wouldn't, it would, you might, might could mill meal a toothpick out of it, really, <laughs> after you get the checks removed. It's not that bad. Well, it really almost is. Don't listen to me. So, anyway, um, we have a lot of, <laughs> we have a lot of firewood since financially, in terms of the firewood, it's been a good thing because we have well more than a you know a cord for what we paid to get to cut those logs down. Yeah, and that's true. So it costs <clears throat> it costs about one hundred and fifty dollars to run Dumpy up the mountain to collect a well, cord of wood. Yeah, uh, that's not to, to collect wood. Um, Oh, good news on Dumpy, by the way. You know, when we first got that truck, that thing would give us about, with a tailwind, about four miles per hour. Uh, four, sorry, four miles per gallon. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, we stopped at the local farmer's co-op, had them inflate all the, had them check the air and all the tires. The tires are really low. I didn't know it. You can't tell because there's such stiff sidewalls on the tires. You can't tell when they're low. But, uh, they were way down and you wouldn't believe it, just in inflating those tires at the proper pressure, we doubled our miles per gallon. <laughs> instead of one, we get three. I'm just kidding, it's more than that. Like instead you said, of, instead four, of they three, we get about seven. Something. So. And you know, since that's the next thing on his list, is got Dumpy going, Dodge, Rusty. Rusty's doing fairly fairly well all the vehicles are doing okay i mean the dodge has got another issue with vibration that we've got to take care of it needs rear brakes and i got new u joints for it which i'll just put in myself um so Next i time. mean there's there's just always this stuff going on with vehicles there has been ever since we got out here it seems but uh, i think i think that's starting that's it's starting to wane a bit now so i know it's down as yeah so we're just fingers crossed you may remember a prior video where we had just bought that wind turbine. It was September of 2020, and uh, I, you know, we'd had the wind turbine installed for maybe 10 days. Good blow came through, and just literally lifted the turbine off of its mast. It sat there at an angle where it was unable to spin into or out of the wind. Um, it was unable to tilt out of the wind, which is one of its features. And it just sat there and burned the wires up and did all kind of bent the fuselage on it and everything else. Well, we took it down right away, and it's been sitting out here for you know a couple of years. I finally got around to looking at it. So I've got a video coming up on the turbine, and also got a video coming up on uh, the timber uh, operation. I mean, it's pretty much an operation. We've been at it. I'm thinking probably a half a month's worth of work, maybe a little more, um, to get 14, I forget what it is, 14,000 cubic feet of lumber or something like that. I mean, we basically had an operation out here. We had multiple trucks, we had winches and chainsaws, all kinds of equipment uh, gathering this stuff. It was quite an operation, but I never want to do it again. It was a good experience, uh, but for the quality of timber we got, it wasn't worth it. If we could get better quality timber, I think it would be worth it. Another thing that uh, Egypt has put in is Egypt found a front loading washer for free, had one of the error codes coming up, and he researched it. And how much was the part you got for it? $75. So basically, there is a washer now here on site, only cold water, but still it's kind of a convenient thing to have considering you go to town and. Um, 40, probably $40 every time you go to the laundromat to get them done. The washing machine's a better a better addition. I well, and it's still off-grid. I mean, it's solar powered. Mm -hmm. So um, so for me, uh, my daughters were married. One was married on April 1st, and the other was married in June. I actually officiated my oldest daughter's wedding, which was really kind of cool. She is now pregnant, and... The last trip I made to Oklahoma, we went to, she had a gender reveal, so she is having a, a girl. And so I was really super impressed. I mean, I got to pull this up because my oldest daughter is 31. My youngest son is, oh, how old is he? 22 or 3. And I cannot believe 
the detail that in the course of 20 you know, years has come around in terms of ultrasound, sonogram, whatever you want to call it. And I know you can't see this. I should probably put it up there, but this is a leg and you can really perfectly, you know, perfectly see the tibia, fibia, no. Leg, lower leg? Lower leg. Tibia and fibula. Tibia and fibula. And you can see one of them here. I know. Yep, there they are. And then, of course, in the next picture, you can actually see the skull. I know you guys can't see them and spine and stuff. And I was always I was laughing when I was in there because I went to the uh, ultrasound with my daughter. My middle daughter was the keeper of the gender, and I kept bugging her, tell me, tell me, and I she wouldn't. But I kind of figured it was a girl. Today is probably the easiest, slowest Sunday we've had in a long time because we've been doing so much timber work. And uh, it's it was really windy, rainy, cold, first snow hitting the mountains, uh, you know, where the timber is. We're unable to get the very last of our timber out. There was just enough up there for one more load on Dumpy that I um, pulled, that I skidded out and decked, you know, stacked and got ready to put on the truck yesterday. And overnight, storm blew through, probably a lot of snow up there now, so not going up today. I don't know if you can hear it, but things are flopping around the wind out here. So we decided to have a day here at Contentment for a Change. We have made a pot of earth shit pozzoli. You probably remember that from one of our earlier videos. Good stuff, Pozzoli, if you've never had it. That's forever ago. That was 2018. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Temperatures this morning were around 40, but now probably up to... What, it says it's 50. 50, okay. So, and they'll be dropping in here pretty soon. So, we are going to enjoy some Pozzoli. Uh, we hope everything's well in your world. Please leave a comment, drop us a note at the bottom, and... Um, and let us know what's going on in your world. Talk to us a little bit. In case you are catching this video for the first time, you don't know anything about us, uh, we're slowly and steadily uh, building an off-grid homestead. Um, everything we do here is operated by solar power or, unfortunately, for the time being, propane. And we have wood stove for heat. And um, so uh, we're just plugging along here trying to uh, uh, grow and and uh, build a homestead so follow along with us we'd love to have you uh, as a subscriber and as a viewer so anyway thanks for watching and you all take care see you next time peace out <laughs>